Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We are continuing with our biology lesson form one. And today I want us to discuss the differences between plant cells and animal cells. So we've been discussing the various structures that are found in plant cells and those that are found in animal cells. But for today, I uh, will look at the differences. So we have the differences between plant cells and animal cells. So, uh, one of the differences between a plant cell and an animal cell is in terms of the size, in that a plant cell is usually larger compared to the animal cell. So, the animal cell is usually smaller. Another difference, uh, the plant cell has a definite shape an animal cell has no definite shape so we have very many shapes another very fundamental uh, difference is uh, plant cells have chloroplasts uh, that uh, contain chlorophyll and that is the chlorophyll that we said is for photosynthesis number three for animal cells have no chloroplasts in terms of the cell wall the plant cell have cell wall Animal cells have no cell wall. Uh, for the plant cell, um, it has a large and centrally located vacuole but the animal cell has no vacuoles but if present if present they are very small they are small and temporary so they don't go throughout the life of the animal uh, more differences as a continuation number six is in terms of the nucleus in the plant cell The nucleus is found towards the periphery, towards the periphery. Of the cell membrane. Uh, for the case of the animal cell, nucleus is centrally located. 
located at uh, the center. Plant cells have no centrioles. Animal cells have centrioles. Uh, for the plant cells, they store starch, oils, basically the starch and oils. While animal cells They store glycogen and fats. So basically those are the differences that exist between uh, plant cells and animal cells. In terms of the size, the plant cell is larger. The animal cell is smaller. In terms of the shape, the plant cell has a definite shape. Uh, animal cell has no definite shape. Um, plant cells have chloroplasts that contain chlorophyll for photosynthesis. In animal cells, there is no chloroplasts, hence no photosynthesis. Plant cells have a cell wall. Animal cells have no cell wall. Plant cells have large and centrally located vacuole. Uh, animal cells have no vacuoles, but if they are present, they are small and temporary. They do not last uh, through the lifetime of the animal cell. Nucleus of a plant cell is found towards the periphery of the cell membrane, uh, whereas the nucleus of an animal cell is centrally located, located at the center. Uh, seven no centrioles in plant cells, but we have centrioles in animal cells. Our plant cells store their food in form of starch and oils, whereas animal cells store glycogen and fats. So glycogen is a carbohydrate that is stored in animal cells. Starch is a carbohydrate that is stored in plant cells. Uh, in addition to that, plant cells have oils, but animal cells have uh, fats. So basically, those are the differences that exist. So we'll have uh, an assignment on the same. So the first question, name three food substances that are stored in A, animal cells, and B, plant cells. And number two, give two main differences between an animal cell and a plant cell. So we'll stop there and continue next time from there. Goodbye.